So how can you tell if your child is a Gestalt language processor? If you notice that your child repetitively produces phrases or gestalts from things, that would be a big sign. Also, if you notice that your child is producing language with really rich intonation, um, that can also be a sign. So we um, have to kind of do the detective work and figure out the meaning in their gestalts. So that's where you as the parent come in because you know your child best, you know what like movies they like to watch, what shows or what they've heard. And so we can really get to the meaning of what they're saying. Um, in addition, we also look for kids who maybe like routines, structure. Um, so Gestalt language processors also are often Gestalt cognitive processors. So they process information or learn information in like episodes. So when I go to school, things happen in this order. And if something's out of order, that can really throw them off. Similarly, they also process information um, in like whole pieces rather than individual parts. So maybe you're doing a puzzle and if one piece is missing, that leads to a total meltdown or really, you know, significant frustration. That could be an indicator that your child is a Gestalt cognitive processor and also a Gestalt language processor. Um, and we can even identify some of these things in our non-speaking um, individuals too. So we can look for that like sing-songy intonation. A lot of times these learners like to watch things over and over they may fast forward or rewind videos to watch the same part um, and also a lot of times these individuals are very drawn to music and they're very musical in nature so it's really remarkable how um, gestalt language processors develop language so if you feel like your child is possibly getting stuck in their language processing and maybe processes language in this way and needs a specialized approach please reach out to us and we would be happy to help thank you